Hi all my crafty friends and welcome back to Designs by Gaddis. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. By doing so, you will help others, just like yourself, be able to find my home decor DIY videos. I am redecorating my living room and wanted to make a large sign to go above the TV. I used a Dollar Tree foam board and some gardening sticks from Dollar General. The first thing I did was measure out for the frame. I then took the gardening stakes outside and cut them with a miter saw. I painted the entire foam board with Waverly plaster chalk paint and put it to the side to dry. I then clipped three makeup sponges together and stained the frame using antiquing wax. I went ahead and stained all the sides because I wasn't sure at the time which side I would be using. Once the foam board and frame were dry, it was time to attach everything. I placed dots of Gorilla Glue on the frame and then ran a bead of hot glue between the Gorilla Glue. I used the Gorilla Glue for a permanent hold and the hot glue for an instant hold. I then aligned the frame over the edge of the foam board and held it in place while the hot glue set up. I used a paper towel to clean any glue that seeped out onto my foam board. This project was large, so please excuse the mess on the side of my table. I'm usually able to get that part out of the frame, but not with this large of a project. I actually need a larger work table. On Design Space, I created the wording for the sign. I then cut out the vinyl and applied everything to transfer tape. It was really tough getting everything lined up and I actually placed Sweet a little lower than I intended, but I still think it turned out amazing. I continued adding the vinyl to the foam board. Once I had everything attached, I added a layer of Mod Podge. The sign was an easy enough project, and I absolutely love how it turned out. And now it's time to work on the sconces. I used four regular size paint sticks for each sconce, so I used a total of eight. I got mine from Home Depot, but you can pick them up just about anywhere. You can also find them on Amazon. I'll leave a link for them in the description. I cut down two craft sticks and attached them to the back using Gorilla Glue and hot glue again. I then used the same antiquing wax that I used on the frame and stained the paint sticks. I decided to add another craft stick to the middle of the paint sticks for a little more stability. And then I stained the edges and added another layer of stain to the front. So I tried to add the hangers with Gorilla Glue and hot glue and that was an epic fail. I brainstormed for a while and decided to use some Jenga blocks on the back so I would have something to screw the hangers into. For the hangers, I'm using a couple of curtain rod holders I found in my stash. I simply took them outside and spray painted them black. I think they look like rod iron, which I love. I added the Jenga blocks on top of the craft sticks using the same method of Gorilla Glue and Hot Glue. Now I had to clean up the mess on the hooks. 
I used a knife and sanding sponge to do this. And use my adorable cow tabletop vacuum to clean up my workspace. I'll leave a link in the description for this adorable little thing. It comes in so handy. I found a couple of sawtooth hangers for the backs of the sconces. I used a measuring tape to find the center and then attached them to the backs. I attached the hangers to the front by finding the center of the board, placing a mark, and used my drill to make a small pilot hole for the screws. I didn't want to crack the thin paint sticks. I then changed out the drill bit for a screwdriver bit that would fit the screws and screwed them in. Since the screws were silver, I used black chalk paint to paint them and also painted the hangers themselves and now to decorate the hangers. I had these two jars with rope already around them, which I thought was perfect. I added some Dollar Tree white hydrangeas to each vase. I cut all the stems off and then grouped them into a large grouping and used floral tape to wrap around the stems. These made them look more full. I was going to add more florals, but I loved the simplicity of the hydrangeas. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I'm not loving the greenery at the top, but I'll use it until I create something I like better. Now to get the shelf I made attached under it so I can display some of my other favorite craft projects. And guys, I wanted to let you know that I will be participating in the Red, White, and Blue Challenge hosted by Teresa B. DIY and Unicorn Dust Designs in May. All proceeds made in May will be donated to the Fisher House. Fisher Houses are a home away from home offered at no cost to military and veteran families, allowing them to be together with their loved ones receiving specialized care at military and VA medical centers around the world and ensure they can be a part of the healing process. Be sure to subscribe and check out the other participants in this challenge. Currently, my channel is not monetized, so if you could check out the link in the description and make a small donation, I would really appreciate it. Another way you can show your support is to watch the ads on the other participants' pages. By watching the ads and not skipping them, the ad's revenue will go up, which means the amount they will donate for this challenge will increase. I'll let you know more details about this challenge in the upcoming videos.